Hi there everybody. Uh, so today is our celebration assembly for the week beginning the 18th of January. First of all, we want to say happy birthday to all of those children who haven't been at school um, uh, since Christmas. So we've got Toby with us, we've got Skylar May Pitts Horsecroft, Myla Ward, Colby Thornton, Isabel Reed, Ava Beckingham, Joshua Wooters, Henry Pilgrim, Callum Coleman, Elsie Moore and Leighton Creed. I hope you managed to have a really great and special day, even though we, we were in a lockdown and obviously we wouldn't have had the celebration that you would have hoped with all your friends. Hope you did manage to do something really lovely though. So, we've also been thinking about the work that you've been doing at home and at school and all the teachers have got together and we've made Learner of the Week certificates for people and we're going to showcase some of your very best work. So, in Year R, in Rabbit's class, the Year R team have chosen Matilda to be the Learner of the Week for all of her amazing learning at home. She's taken part in all of the home learning activities provided and they were really, really impressed with their drawings of the characters and the settings in The Three Little Pigs, as well as the progress she's making with her reading and writing. Well done, Matilda. Let's have a look at some of her work. So there we look, we've got Matilda having a lovely teddy bears picnic there and also what an amazing story map that you've made of the story of the three little pigs. Now, hedgehogs class. Miss Anstey and her team have written, we chose Finley to be this week's home learner of the week due to the amazing work he's produced at home. We've been incredibly impressed with the progress he's made with his handwriting, ensuring his letters are all the appropriate size. He's also been creative by making the three little pigs houses using similar materials and completing his food technology home learning and video recording his findings. Well done, Finley. You are blowing our socks off. So let's have a look at some of Finley's work. There you are, look. So Finley has been sorting his food into um, two groups, things that come from animals and things that don't. So that's really good, Finley. And also look at his story map and the way that he is um, changing some of the parts of the story to make his own story up. And I can see there that the three little pigs now is the three little penguins. Great job, Finley. Absolutely brilliant. So, squirrels. William is Squirrels Learner of the Week. He's been working very hard at home completing all his Google Classroom assignments and working particularly hard on his handwriting and reading lots of book, books on Bug Club. In the last seven days, he's managed to earn 2,486 Numbot coins and Mrs Britt and Mrs Ford and all of your teachers were really, really impressed with your geography challenge, which we're going to have a look at in a minute. So here we are. This is William. Look at his geography work, looking at that with all the continents um, of the world. Fantastic, William. You look very happy there and very proud of your work. So, year three. Archie, thank you. This is for your wonderful Asian Egyptian mask design. Miss Saul says that you thought about it really clearly and include bright, included bright colours. Egyptian themes and chosen an animal god to represent. Well done, Archie. And now let's have a look at this fabulous Egyptian mask. Look at that fantastic Archie. Year four foxes. So the, all the teachers in year four are amazingly proud of Daisy. Puts 100% effort into all of her work and all of the work that she's been producing is of a high quality. Mrs. Popham and Mrs. O'Toole could not be prouder of you. So let's have a look 
at some of Daisy's work. Look at that. What an imaginative, creative, one of a kind invention there. Looks fantastic. And also she's been working on her story. Well done, Daisy. Year five badges. This one is for James Reeves, Reeves for completing lots of his home learning tasks this week. Creates a fantastic piece of geography work looking at what the earth is made up of. James has created a lovely diagram of the earth with labels and extra information. Well done, James. Keep up the brilliant work. And there you are, look, the structure of the earth. And finally, year six, Sam Ryan. Amazing effort in his English assignment. Fantastic vocabulary and a really persuasive ad work. And when you see his work, you'll see that um, a Big Brain 3000 would be a fabulous thing. There you are. I'll give you a few minutes just to have a look at the Big Brain 3000. It says here, are you fed up of not knowing everything? Do you spend hours studying each day? Do you need more knowledge? If so, you need the Big Brain 3000. Don't be the only dummy not knowing much at all. You could be the smartest dude in town. The Big Brain 3000 is the perfect hat to be wearing as it not only looks cool, but also comes with a handwriting glow that makes even the scruffiest writing neat. It also has the added bonus of a special glow feature that works when it's connected to your brain. The colour is optional. The Big Brain 3000 also comes with face recognition, meaning it can only be used by you. If stolen, it will be totally useless. Don't just take our word for it. Check out our YouTube channel where you can see it in action. They say this is a must-have gadget and top of the, ama and top of the amazing deal. It comes in four different colours of lightweight, comfortable material and carbon fibre controls. Do not miss out on this fantastic offer. Get yours today by contacting us on www.bigbrain.com or telephone 0800 2046 And the price is for an adult £750 and a child £450. Sam Ryan, fantastic, great work. So well done to all of our children at home. You are all working extremely hard. And I know that your mums and dads and everybody in your family is, is doing such a great job of helping you. So we'll see who is um, Learners of the Week next week. And all of you, keep up the good work. Well done.